good afternoon my students today we are going to see a new episode of mss 222 programming course today the idea of the course is actually to do a program where you are going to use a new control from the toolbox which is date time picker so as usual we are going to start a new project and you are going to click ok here once you have done that one as you know that now it's getting open the new project is getting open it takes some time as you know that it takes some time for uploading now we have the form where you are going to make the design for your user interface as we always did it and now you can see here i am also going to show you the control which we are going to use for today's class you can click on the toolbox you will see that you have something called date time picker here if you see the date time picker here this is the control that we are going to use for today's class date time picker so this is a new uh, con com con control which you are going to use but i am just going to drag as usual i am placing it here and this is the date time picker i am going to place a label as i want to give the name for this one today we are going to use the date time picker to calculate the age uh, or date of age calculator we are going going to calculate the age of a particular person by entering the uh, date of birth so i am going to copy this label i am going to paste it over here so this is label 1 this is label 2 i will also have paste of paste the same thing now i have label 3 so i have placed label 1 label 2 and label 3 and also i am going to use the toolbox again to place a text box if you can see here you are very familiar with the text box as we have used it more often in our other programs also now we are going to go to the button which we need to actually make the process so we have the button here so now you are actually going to have this type this controls only for this program let me repeat for you once again my friends we have the date time picker and we have one text box you can see it this is text box 1 and we have the date time picker we have placed one button we have placed label 1 and we have placed label 2 and we have placed label 3 so these are the basic things that you should have in order to do this program now let us just make it here like this and then i am going to give as i as always we give the title for the program i will give the name of the program as age calculator age calculator this is age calculator and here in the button i am going to change it as calculate calculate age then what i do is that in the label i am just going to give here enter enter date of birth enter date of birth and you can adjust it to move it so that you can see it it is symmetrical in the way and then i am actually going to go to the next one i am changing the text property in all the labels in the buttons in, in even in the um, text box i am changing only the text property i did not take a long time to explain that part because you are all familiar with this one now what i do is that i select all these contents here you can see here wherever i want to change the property for these four controls i am selecting it i am going to the property window i choose the font i am just making bold i am making it 14 the size i give okay now you see that this is the design it has gone little bit off the screen if you want you can just move it here so that you can see it very clearly now it is age calculator you can see here and then you have the text box also probably here you can just scroll down to see it okay you can just move it here and calculate age so you can if the screen is not very clear for you now i think now it's clear 
you can see that the program is to calculate the age the title of the form what is the input the input is to enter the date of birth the output is to see the age of the person and this is the process where you are going to write the process the process is going to be done by writing the code for it the code is pretty simple so i hope it's clear for you everything about the designing part of the user interface so we have placed label one label second label third label and we have placed one button and we have one text box and we have one date time picker for you to complete the design of the screen the next part of this is to actually to write the code so i am actually going to double click the button as i always do and you know that you have been very familiar with this one now what we have to do is that we have to write the code for this one so the code is very simple we are going to state here when the button is clicked when the button is going to be clicked you can see that the code is written in the button one when the button is clicked i am going to write here date date diff what is date diff it's a function date diff difference of date so open the bracket date interval date interval you see it's very easy it is automatically coming here date interval see the date interval can be in the form of day day of the year minute month quarter like this so i am going to choose date interval date interval i think i am go i am going to use now year i am go going to calculate how many years so i am choosing date interval dot year how um, what is the age in years the output will come to me in years if i am going to use day it will come in day so now not worry about it just put it like this date interval the date difference between the date interval should be in year i want the answer should come to me in year and date time picker one date time picker one because you see we have placed date time picker and so i am just going to choose that one date time picker one because it is already in the design if you have any doubts you can see here this is date time picker one so in the code what i am doing is that date interval between what and the answer is going to come to, to me in the years it is date time picker one then i am going to just uh, picker one dot value what is the value the date picker one value v a l u e you see here automatically it comes here so value and i am just going to put a comma from where the difference is between from today to what you have as a value chosen in the date time picker one i repeat again don't no need to get confused with the code the problem with our students is that when they see the code they get dizzy they feel that they cannot do it but don't worry it is so easy just you have to understand what is written in the syntax of this language if you can see here the function we are using is what date diff what is date diff it's a, going to give the difference of the date and the answer is going to be coming the interval is going to be given in the form of the output is going to be in the form of year how many years you will get the answer what is the difference be between the date the value that is chosen in the date time picker 1 and today's date so this is the code now as i told you after i type the code now i am checking here there are no errors so my program is perfectly all right and i don't have any errors and there are no warnings and nothing to worry about it everything is zero now the next step will be to actually run the code when i want to run the code you can see that the age calculator is here let us assume that somebody has a date of birth say like i will just move the years a little bit ahead in the uh, previous years like 1989 july and the person is born on 13th july 1989 i want to calculate the age so the calculate the age you see that the answer is not coming so there is a problem with the code even though the, there is no syntax error but there is a problem with the uh, way how we have designed it so no need to care about this just you see that it is very common 
that you will make this type of mistakes you have put a text box have you seen the, uh, the in the design we have used a text box one so we did not specify that output here if you want to see the design again i will show it to you for, show it again for you this is text box one this is the place where we were expecting to get the output but unfortunately when i wrote the code i just wrote it here without explaining where the output is going to come without specifying where the output is going to come so it calculated but it could not give me the answer there was no syntax error the programming code was correct but there was a logical error because the output is not specified in the code now let me run it again so now I am going to again choose the date from the date time picker just I go some years before like let me go to the years like 19 okay 80 80 and somebody is born on July and let us take it 11 calculate the age the age of the person is 40 so my friends it is so easy it's an age calculator program so now you can calculate the age of anybody based on the date of birth given. I am going to make some more changes to the design for you to make it very easy to understand how it works. So now when you are going to make some more changes, the first thing that you have to do is what? You have to stop debugging first. Now you are ready for making some more changes. See now I had one button. I am also placing another button here. See, can you see this button here? Now I am placing this button here. Why I am placing two buttons? I will explain you now. I will make it a little bit down. So there are two buttons I am placing. And in this button, I am going to change the information as, I am going to change it as clear. You know, clear. I want to clear the information. So I change it as clear. So when I am going to give in clear, what I am going to write in this code? See, I am going to click this button. Now this is button two. I am writing the code in button 2 before you got the answer in text box 1 dot text as 40 the answer will still remain there I want to remove that answer so I just give it like this in empty empty double quotes so that let us see what happens now look at this one now we have the design with two buttons I am going to open it again I am going some years before let us assume February 2010 25th calculate the age is 10 now you see I am going to give a button clear the answer is deleted so again you can reuse the same screen for checking the age of another person so this is the purpose of having the clear button now there is one more thing I wanted to add now the age is actually calculated for you in terms of years but suppose somebody thinks why it should be in years it should be also in months so what I am going to do is that I am just going to do what I am going to use the same one I am just right click copy and I am going to paste it here then I am going to paste it here now I am going to add three things see first one I change the output I wanted in years which you got it before now I am going to use month can you see now month I want the output to come in month. The next one, what I want is that I want it to come in days. For example, how many days? Like day. Can you see it here? It automatically comes. So no need for it to worry. But you see there is one problem that all the three outputs cannot come in one text box because you have to place some more text box. Now you see what is the problem? I am changing this one as text box 2. I am changing this one as text box 3. But you see there is a problem now. You can see this red line. What does it mean? There is an error for me. Can you see there is two errors? So again I told you my friends. No need to panic when you see the errors. You have to read the error message very carefully. Text box 2 is not declared. Can you see that? What is that? It is not declared. Means what? You don't have any text box 2 here. Do you see a text box 2 here? Only there is one text box 1. So now what you have to do is that. You have to copy right click copy paste it now you have text box 2 can you see here text box 2 here again I am going to paste and this is text box 3 
Now you see here, I have the label. I am right click, I copy, I paste. Now there is age, okay, and this is again age. Can you see it here? Now all are age, but what is the difference? Now I am going to change it here. Age in years. I am going to change this one as age in months. How many months one person lived from the date of birth? And this is actually for age in days. So now I have these things. Now you can see here still I want to go to the code to check if there is any error. See now there is no error. Why there is no error? Because in the previous screen we did not have the text box 2 and we did not have the text box 3. That's why we had an error message which said that text box 2 and text box 3 are not declared. But now this error has gone because we have put the text box 2 and text box 3. Now let us run the program. No errors. So we are fine. Now you can see that I am going to choose the date of birth for any person. Like I am going to choose, I am going little bit behind. I am choosing the year from 1990. Okay. And I am choosing March. I am choosing March 2. This is the date when a person is born. I want to calculate the age. The person has lived for 30 years. He has lived for 360 months. And he has lived for 10,975 days. Is it interesting? I hope it's interesting for you. And I will urge you to practice these programs at your own in your home using your laptop. As I already told you, Visual Studio can be easily downloaded on a trial version by creating a Microsoft account. Uh, and you can download the trial version or an evaluation version of the Visual Studio 2010. I will actually upload a video on how to download this one more detail in the, my upcoming videos. This is for the time moment. I hope let us learn and make our time fruitful. See you then until you will see me in my next video. Thank you and good evening.